Got two bunnies and their fur gets on my clothes all the time. Hello everyone, welcome to another video. My name is Mario So and happy new year. I hope you had a great start to your year and I wish you all the best in 2022. In today's video, I wanna talk about overheating on the A7 IV. It's something that it hasn't been spoken about too much and it's not something that you need to worry about. But if you have gotten the A7 IV just right now and if you're running the original firmware version one, then this is something that you need to keep in mind if you don't want your camera to overheat and shut down. I've had my A7 IV for about a week now and the first time I used it about 30 or 40 minutes, I noticed the high temperature warning sign pop in my screen. And it was about 20 degrees indoors. It wasn't even that warm. And we're in winter right now here in Toronto. And I still got overheating symbol. And I left the camera on a little longer. I played with some of the settings and I tried recording some stuff of just random things around at home. Sure enough, about 20 minutes in, I got this notification from the camera. At first I was really worried because in all of these sample reviews that we got early on back in October, nobody really talked about overheating on this camera. There's technically no overheating in this camera. I was able to confirm that this was not just happening to my camera, but also to some other A7IV out there. Here is a quick fix for you if you have the Sony A7IV and you're running the original firmware version 1.0. So let's talk about how you can get this fixed, but first you need to know what version or what firmware your camera is currently in. If you're one of the ones who got the first batch of Sony A7IV's end of December, then you probably are still on the original firmware. So to check your version, hit the menu tab and go all the way to the end to set up, then go to item 13 setup option. From there, select version and you'll be able to see what firmware or what version your camera is currently in. And if yours is 1.0 as well, you're most likely experiencing the same issues that I am with this faux overheating warning. In order to fix this, all we need to do is go back to your menus, go to the last tab, go to setup, and then go to item number nine, which is the power setting option. You can also find this by going all the way to page 47 of 51 in the menu system. From here, go to auto power off temp. By default, your camera will be in the standard option. And this is what causing your camera to give you that overheating warning. So go on ahead and select high. This is going to elevate that threshold and it's going to keep your camera running and not let it shut off even though the camera thinks that it's getting overheated. A real update and a real fix is probably going to come later on via a firmware upgrade from Sony. But until then, this is a way that you can bypass that camera shutting off by itself thinking it's overheating. When I was touching my camera, feeling if it was actually overheating, it was just a little bit warm, nothing unusual. So I do not think it's actually overheating. But if you leave that option in standard, your camera is going to shut off. So if you don't want that to happen, just set it to high and download the new firmware once that available from Sony whenever that is. So there you have it. I hope that this was useful to you as it was for me. And if you're new here and you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. That'll be greatly appreciated. We got lots of exciting stuff planned for this year, 2022. So that's it for today and I'll see you next time.